Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday, and as always, be sure to like and provide comments. What is 5G? If you want to skip the rest of this video, the 30 second overview is this. You will need a new phone in order to access 5G networks. Your phone may say it's on a 5G network, but your network provider may be misleading you. There are different flavors of 5G depending on your cell network and phone, and they offer vastly different speeds and quality. 5G is a revolutionary technology that will improve our ability to communicate and share information over the next decade. So let's start with the basics. The 5 and the G in 5G refers to fifth generation mobile networks. It's a new global wireless standard after 1G, 2G, 3G, and the current 4G network that most of us are on. Cell phones get their wireless communication abilities from tiny radios built into the cell phone. Unlike a car radio, users don't have to manually select stations such as 106.7 FM or 800 AM to receive signals. Instead, cell phones' radio tuners use lists of nearby radio towers, automatically selecting optimal frequencies and using radio waves to transmit calls, text messages, and data. With 5G, we can reach speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second, or about 100 times faster than current 4G networks. A quick history lesson. So, first generation, or 1G, started in the 1980s and allowed for analog voice. Second generation, or 2G, came about in the early 1990s. 2G introduced digital voice communication. By the time 3G came around, or third generation, in the early 2000s, it allowed for mobile data transmission. So this allowed for mobile apps to be more robust and actually functional on your cell phone. By the time we hit fourth generation or 4G LTE in the 2010s, it ushered in a new era of mobile broadband. This is why you can actually stream a video like the Dark Web Deacon over a cell network because of 4G broadband technology. Are all 5G networks the same? No. There are three types of 5G networks being built in the US, including low band, mid band, and high band or as it's often called, MM wave band. The word band refers to the radio frequency of the communication. The higher the band or frequency, the faster the communication and data speeds. Less than one gigahertz equals low band, one to six gigahertz is mid band, and 24 to 60 gigahertz equals high band. MM wave or high band 5G is currently supported by AT&T and Verizon and a little bit by T-Mobile. It's about 10 times faster than current 4G networks with extremely low latency, which means individual messages are transmitted almost instantaneously. For example, if you were to download a four gigabit file, which is like a movie, you might be able to do that in about five minutes on today's fastest 4G networks. On high band 5G communication, the same movie would take about 32 seconds, but you would need to be standing fairly close to a tower or transmitter to get those types of speeds and be outside since it does have issues with things like trees and walls and windows. Midband 5G is supported by T-Mobile through the Sprint acquisition. It's about six times faster than 4G LTE and can blanket larger areas with needed coverage and go through walls, windows, and trees much easier compared to high band. And finally, low band 5G is supported by T-Mobile and AT&T. It's about 20% faster than 4G, but it is more effective at penetrating buildings and covering longer distances. Who invented 5G? Well, no one company or person invented 5G. There are several companies within the mobile ecosystem that are contributing to bringing 5G to life. My current old phone says I am on a 5G E network. So does that mean I am on 5G? No, you're not on 5G. Most likely you are using AT&T. 
AT&T rolled out a brand update to existing cellular networks as 5G Evolution or 5GE. Your phone's 4G logo most likely transformed into a 5GE logo after the update, but nothing has actually changed. When real 5GE launches on AT&T, it will be called 5G+. So this is a little absurd and kind of misleading for most consumers on AT&T. Do I need a new phone if I want to leverage 5G? Yes, you will need to get a new smartphone that supports 5G if you want to be able to use the network. There are several new mobile phones available that are designed to support 5G and multiple carriers across the world to support 5G wireless networks. As the 5G rollout timeline progresses, more smartphones and carrier subscriptions will become available. As 5G technology and 5G compatible devices become more mainstream and available. Where in the world does 5G coverage exist? Well, the US, China, Spain, France, and the UK are making major inroads in growing their 5G footprint across their country. In the US, the coverage can vary based on providers such as T-Mobile, which leads the way due to their recent merger with Sprint. Verizon and AT&T also have a presence in nearly every major city. So far, Verizon's high-band 5G map includes 35 major cities. Like T-Mobile, AT&T is using two different 5G technologies to provide coverage across the country, a low-band network for far-reaching coverage and a high-band network for power and speed. How will 5G affect me and should I invest in a new phone? 5G is designed to do a variety of things that can transform our lives including giving us faster download speeds, low latency, and more capacity and connectivity for billions of devices, especially in the areas of virtual reality, the internet of things, and artificial intelligence. 5G networks can deliver the level of performance needed for an increasingly connected society. 5G enables a new kind of network that is designed to connect virtually everyone and everything together, including machines, objects, and devices. So this is a technical investment that is worth planning to make when you have 5G availability in your area and the funds available to buy a 5G enabled phone. But when the time comes, be sure to ask which type of 5G network you will be accessing, low, mid, or high band, based on your network and your phone. So that the investment you make, you know you're getting the speeds and the performance that you expect. Thanks for watching and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.